Video Gamers Oasis Presents Late Sunday Night Text Adventure Gaming with Jeremy Good evening, good evening Twitch. Welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Twitch channel. I'm Jeremy, and welcome back to another uh, episode of a recurring series. Every Sunday night, we have the Sunday night, late Sunday night, text adventure gaming, and we've been playing Zork, the Cavern of Doom. Hope you've been following my uh, stream so far and. In case you missed them, I've edited uh, past streams and upload them on my YouTube channel. So check out my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, if you haven't already. Uh, you can subscribe and uh, click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Um, also, I appreciate it if you would follow me on Twitch, uh, follow, click the follow button, and help support the work that I do by checking out the affiliates and partners I work with. On the about page, including Mogul Crypto, uh, Brave Browser, uh, Pyre, uh, nutritional supplements for ga gamers, as well. I'm working also with Pi, another cryptocurrency company, recently. So check out the links on my about page. Help support the work that I do. Thank you so much. Let's continue our adventure with Abivatar and Geranda. They're They've been in a, in a mysterious, scary cave, <clears throat> looking for some couple of friends that they are, have lost in the cave, perhaps. Let's see how far they can go in this evening. We're going to be playing this game till around 12.30. It's 11.49 p.m. according to my clock, Toronto, Ontario time, so make sure to uh, check your clock. Uh, but uh, I'll be done around 12.30. I'm going to play for at least uh, 40 minutes, if not more. Now we were in the great rocky tunnel. <clears throat> Let's continue on where we left off. Just to uh, recap, Bivatar and Geranda continue to traverse the coal mine. After a while, the tracks disappear and the walls become gray and rocky again. The air grows moist and at various points trickles of water run down the walls of the tunnel. Dark green mosses grow abundantly where these trickles appear. Just beyond a particularly thick growth of mosses, they come to a small tunnel leading off from the main one. Bivatar shines the lantern into the small side tunnel. It is very short, forming a dead end 40 or 50 feet away. Sitting on the ground, just before the end wall, is a wooden trunk, bulging with jewels. Gray rocky tunnel. On the floor of the side passage, between the trunk and the two adventurers, is a carpet of green plants. They sway slowly from side to side, which is rather odd since there is almost no breeze in the tunnel. Duran, look at that tr trunk of jewels. Let's take a closer look. Wait, cautions Gerander. Those plant things might not be as harmless as they look. Once again, you have to choose where to go. Go down the side tunnel to the trunk of jewels or continue along the main passage. Ah, it's kind of tempting. Let's see, let's see what happens when we go after the jewels. One. One. Side tunnel. Bivotar. 
Side tunnel. Bivitar laughs at Jorenda. What? Are you afraid of a few little plants? You can wait here then. He starts toward the trunk of jewels. Wait, I'll come too. She follows after him, not noticing that the amulet has begun to glow. They begin wading through the carpet of plants, which continues to ripple despite the lack of air currents. Just when they reach the center of the patch of plants, it erupts about them. The plants turn out to be a colony of whipweeds, small green animals with poisonous stingers which imitate plants to lure their unsuspecting victims closer. Pulling their roots from the ground, they swarm all over Bivatar and Jorenda, wrapping their poison-filled stingers around the unfortunate adventurers. The end. Your score is three out of a possible ten points. That was most unfortunate. But we do have a chance to make a, be make a better decision. Well, you probably deserve another chance. Try again, or no thank you. I choose to, ch to try again. Number one. One. Gray Rocky Tunnel. On the floor of the side path. Gray Rocky Tunnel. On the floor of the side passage between the trunk and the two adventurers is a carpet of green plants. They sway slowly from side to side, which is rather odd since there is almost no breeze in the tunnel. Duran, look at that trunk of jewels. Let's take a closer look. Wait, cautions Duranda. Those plant things might not be a, as harmless as they look. Once again, you have to choose where to go. Number one, go down the side tunnel to the trunk of jewels, or two, continue along the main passage. I think the best decision would be number two. Two. Gnome's Gate. Well. Gnome's Gate.